Hi guys and welcome again to Esuakago YouTube channel. This is where we inspire, we inform, and we also encourage people. It's been a minute but then I am here and I have this hot hot topic that I'm gonna discuss today. I know in most cases uh, when women speak, when women say their when women try to talk about their preferences, when women say what they like and what they don't like, it's mostly taken as them being, you know, they want to rule over men, I don't know what. But let us normalize to accept that women have a right to choose as the same men have a right to choose. I'm not trying to bring equality here. I'm just trying to be, to acknowledge the feelings of everybody as a human. So here's the thing, and I know you, you're asking yourself, where is this leading us? Where is this taking us? Me, personally, I have come a long way, like anybody else. I have had my battles along the way. I have dropped some. I decided to choose my battles in the future. So being a single person, being a single lady, one day at church, we were worshiping and praying. And I found myself talking to God, talking with God, talking with God. And I remember myself asking him if ever, if ever he would consider in this life, he would consider to give me a husband. May that man be a man whom he has dealt with or worked on and not someone who gonna need more work. Why am I saying this? Hmm. Most people might think or we might think that the older a woman becomes, the more desperate she gonna be. But any wise woman out there, any woman out there who has never lost their confidence, their self-esteem, who knows their value, no matter how old they become, they will never just go for anything. And that is the truth. Sometimes we might feel like this is pride. No, it's not pride. And to be honest with you, 90% of women out there, they need a man. But the thing is, what type of a man am I getting myself into at my age? Nowadays, it has become uh, no more for people to get into a relationship because of benefits, not because of love. Personally, I feel like my ideal man would be a man who humbles himself before God, a man who loves God from inside, not just quoting on Facebook. These people, or we have people in social media who are very, very much active posting scriptures but when you approach them or when you get to learn them they are totally very far from the scriptures they talk about i'm not talking about a man who admires god i'm talking about a man who has god in him who has jesus in him who knows the value of love from jesus perspective because anybody any man who loves god who values love from Jesus' perspective, from what the Bible says about, they will never hurt you. I'm not willing to get a man to work or to come and fix. My friend, I haven't managed to fix my sleep schedule. Think about me now fixing a man. That is not something I would want to do. Throughout my journey, I learned the do's and don'ts of a relationship. And trust me, you, I can tell 
if a relationship gonna work or not at the beginning. I used to get the same signs, but I wasn't, I wasn't awoke enough to take them as red flags. But now at my age, I know a relationship that I need to cut off at the beginning, even before it takes the first phase. Mm -mm. It's a now. And I just wish and hope that every woman would get to this level whereby you are not desperate. Yes, I'm not gonna lie to you that I do not need a man in my life. I do. That is a hundred percent. But I would rather stay as me ever and ever amen until Jesus Christ comes again than to get myself into a relationship that gonna mess the type of a person that I have worked so much for. Because when, when you, you, you get challenges and when you fight them and you get through, you become a step higher of who you were before. Not because you are, you are setting bars too high, no, but because now you know what to do and what not to do. Not because I'm perfect, no, I'm not. But the thing here is God has done a lot of work on me. The type of a man that I would want to give my life to all spend my life with it, it can only be a man who has already been worked on by god not by people by god god has molded you god has shaped you god has made you has given you enough understanding to hold a relationship to hold a marriage that is the only way to have a lasting marriage a happy one and a genuine one okay and that is my ideal man you know it is okay to set bars. It is okay to say what you would want as a woman and we should normalize it. And it should not feel like that lady is becoming like she's full of pride. That is not pride. That is self-awareness. We call it self-awareness. I know what I want in life and I know what I don't want in life. Why? Because I have gone through both and I know the damage that was caused and how it can be corrected because why would you be through a challenge and then you go through it again and again three times it means you're not a good learner it it's all for today and i would want to know how do you feel about this topic uh what do you think about what i just said because i said it you know uh you are okay you are welcome to leave your comment on the comment section and i'll be going through each and every comment and if i need to come up with a second video i'm just gonna do exactly like that cheers guys and always keep on keeping on because we can do all things through christ who strengthens us and um there is a reason the bible said all things not these things so we can do all things i still believe in the voice and uh, see you when you see me never stop continuing with being you and also asking god to lead you bye bye guys